This is the second video of a six-part series on PRL pesticide reporting. This video will cover what records commercial permit holders must include in their annual report and which forms to use for reporting. There are two forms that commercial permit holders should be familiar with before submitting a report. First is Form 25, or the Annual Report for Restricted Pesticide Sales, and second is Form 27, or the Annual Report for Pesticide Sales to Certified Private Applicators. We will go over which of these form or forms a commercial permit holder should use to report their sales throughout this video. Form 25 must be used by commercial permit holders who manufacture, compound, or import restricted use products in or into New York State. Use Form 25 to report the total sales of each restricted product sold and include the following information. The EPA registration number, the product name, the container size, the unit for the container size, and the number of containers sold to New York purchasers. Please note that if you sell more than one container size of a product, list each container size as a separate entry in your report. Form 25 will look slightly different depending on which reporting option you use. Here we see the option D Excel Form 25 and the option A Form 25. We will go over DEC's reporting options in the next video. When filling out Form 25, Start by filling in the report year, business name, and commercial permit number. Next, use the drop-down menu next to Sales Report Type to choose the option that pertains to the type of sales you are reporting. If no sales were made, you do not need to submit a report. If you are reporting sales, choose whether the sales in the report were to commercial applicators for end use or to commercial permit holders for resale. Separate reports must be completed for each sales report type. Please do not submit one form for both types of sales. Next, fill in all five columns for each restricted use product sold. Please remember that if you sell more than one container size of a product, list each container size as a separate entry in your report. Please do not rearrange, customize, delete, or add columns. Doing so will take the report out of the compliant format, which may lead to a rejected report. Form 27 must be used by commercial permit holders who sell pesticides to certified private applicators for use in agricultural crop production. Form 27 must include the following information for every sale. The EPA registration number, the product name, the quantity sold, the unit of measurement for that quantity, the date sold, and the address where the pesticide is to be applied, including the county code, address, municipality, and zip code. Form 27 will look slightly different depending on which reporting option you use. Here we see the option D Excel Form 27 and the option A Form 27. We will go over DEC's reporting options in the next video. When filling out Form 27, start at the top by filling in the report year, business name, and commercial permit number. If you made sales during the reporting year, select Yes after Did you make sales? Next, fill in all nine required columns to report those sales. Please note that the nine columns are arranged in a specific order. Please do not rearrange, customize, delete, or add columns. Doing so will take the report out of compliant format, which may lead to a rejected report. What if a commercial permit holder both imports or manufactures restricted use pesticides and sells pesticides to certified private applicators? Commercial permit holders that do both types of sales should submit both a Form 25 and a Form 27. For more information on how to download or install these forms, please watch the next video in the series, which electronic reporting option is right for you. Please reach out to PRL Support if you have any technical issues with your forms or with submitting your report online.
they can be reached by the contact information on the screen. If you are still unsure about which forms to use, please contact DEC's Reporting and Certification section at 518-402-8748 or email prl at dec.ny.gov.